Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a Hill Farmstead beer uh, or grassroots brewing if you want to call it that. It is basically a Hill Farmstead collaboration. Um, this is their brother, Sonye. Uh, this is a beer that comes in at 5%, a Saison, uh, brewed with limes, uh, lime, blood orange, and actually hibiscus as well. And I uh, actually have had this beer before, so I'm very excited to review a quote-unquote shelf beer from Hill Farmstead. If you want to get this beer, when it's available at the brewery, it actually is no limits. So very awesome stuff. Uh, picked myself up a few bottles of this. So awesome beer. Uh, let's dig in. <laughs> so the beer comes in, wow, deep amber color. Yeah, there you go. Deep amber color. Uh, slightly opaque, but really richly, uh, a little bit of red in that. Uh, imagine the blood orange is offering that really rich color. Uh, wonderful effervescence. And see that um, kind of head on that. Let's get the aroma. Awesome. The initial note is uh, what I've noticed, or the theme on this one, is a kind of a signature Hill Farm said kind of yeast quality. It is funky, a little bit tart. I'm getting lime zest. But it has this kind of like almost, um, I want to call it like eggy, egg kind of aroma. The funk is there, but not too intense. It's not too much like a... Um, uh, Cantillon beer, Jusa. It's not super, super like funky, like, you know, swamp or horse blanket or whatever people want to say, but it offers a hint of that. I'm also offered a little bit of a, a hint of fruitiness from the, maybe the blood orange or the a lime. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. Wow, that's awesome. So refreshing, so flavorful. Big fan of uh, <laughs> Hill Farms Ted Saison's. What amazing stuff. Up front, you're offered this wonderful kind of puckering kind of lime, lemon quality, but not too much. It pushes a little bit, but, you know, restrains a little bit. One of the more sour, I'd say, of the Saison's that he's offering. Uh, a medium, medium plus. Fun quality is definitely there, along with the aroma. I would say it's a uh, medium to medium minus. Yeah, the funk quality is uh, very restrained on this one, but the yeast in general, all his beers are very restrained on the funk quality. Nice kind of a uh, crackery malt in the middle, very dry in the back end, but with actually not too much. I'm offered a little bit of that funk quality lingering with a little bit of zesty quality, but not too much on the back end. Very nice. Wow. Uh, carbonation, by the way, is fantastic. Very effervescent, almost drinks like champagne. Yeah. A little bit less than that, but almost like champagne. Mm -hmm. Lots of tiny bubbles. Really wonderful mouthfeel for 5%. Fantastic stuff. Not too bready, but you offer a wonderful mouthfeel. Yeah, and that funk quality is walking in. A little bit of the lime zest, a little bit of maybe the hibiscus kind of uh, drying and bitterness is offering uh, coming through. Blood orange is pretty hidden. Uh, I wouldn't guess there was any blood orange in this beer, but maybe there's a little bit of kind of a candied kind of note in here that I'm getting from the citrus, candy citrus note. Mm. Just fantastic. Um, super well balanced, super refined. Um, yeah, talking about this beer, I mean, people sometimes chase after the limited bottles that Hill Farmside is offering, but again, this beer with a lot of other beers have no limits. And so if you go to the brewery, you can get as much as you want. And I highly recommend you do that if you can visit the brewery. Um, let me know what you want me to review uh, first, because I do have, I guess I've reviewed this beer. I also have Clara, Nordic Saison, and Verame. Um, so uh, curious what you guys want to see first, but absolutely amazing stuff. For me, this is, might be one of the best quote unquote shelf beers that uh, Hill Farmside is offering. Just love the balance on this. All the beers have the wonderful balance, but this one, for me, offers a little bit of kind of puckering tart quality, um, just a little bit more fruity quality as well, but still very subtle. Everything is very refined and balanced in this beer. Um, as for a rating. Just a great table beer, a flavorful one at that, but great table beer. 
97. Yeah. Let's go with the, a straight 97 on this one. A fantastic beer. Big, big fan. Um, it's so surprising how Hill Farms is able to offer so much flavor, tar quality, and funky quality without barrels or spontaneous fermentation. He's not doing a cool ship on this beer. He's not barrel aging it, but he's simply pitching his signature yeast, and it offers all those complexities I'm looking for for highly rated beer, for highly rated saison, and um, it's fantastic. So highly recommended. Definitely check it out, brother. So uh, Swanye, sorry. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.